Hello everyone, Kevin here from Wibbit.net, welcoming you to a C++ programming series that will teach you the fundamental basics of coding a keystroke logger in the Windows operating system. Before we get started, I'd like to point out that these videos are intended for educational and entertainment purposes only. Anyone who uses the information obtained from this series does so at their own risk. These videos are intended to educate C++ programmers by introducing them to experimental concepts that explore the capabilities of the C++ programming language. The series does not endorse the use of this material for spying or any other malicious or illegal purposes. One of my personal goals with this series is to show how simple it is for someone to spy on your every move, perhaps make you more careful about trusting computer system security and privacy. Everything you do electronically is logged somewhere, and someone can gain access to it without your knowledge. Keystroke loggers and other spyware applications are heavily used in employee watching, identity theft, information collecting, target marketing, and espionage. I also want to show how easy it is to create such applications, and that it doesn't require an advanced degree in computer science to develop spyware. Basically, Basically all this boils down to is please use this information responsibly. A keystroke logger is a relatively basic concept. It is a program that will log all the keys pressed on a keyboard and store them into some sort of log. We're going to create a program that will actually scan for a keyboard interrupt, interpret the value of the key that is pressed, convert it from its ASCII decimal value to its ASCII character value, and store the data in an output file for later retrieval. Another exciting feature that we'll add to this program is stealth. This means a program will run in the background of the operating system and it won't take up a console window. For example, if we press Control alt delete on your Windows machine, hold down Control, hold down Alt, and press Delete. Here we have a list of the processes that are currently running in Windows. A large number of these are running in stealth, which means they are running in the background. However, we don't actually see them running. So our program is going to have this functionality. This tutorial uses Dev C++ Integrated Development Environment and the Microsoft Windows XP operating system. For information about Dev C++, including downloads and documentation, please click the Dev C++ link on the series description page. Once you've installed Dev C++, Plus, open it. Create a new source file, this button right here, or hold control and press N. So the first thing that we're going to do is include IO stream. And then using namespace standard. Following this, we're going to include two Windows functions. One is going to be windows.h, and the other one is going to be winuser.h. These headers will allow us to access some Windows functions that we will be using later on in our program. Next, let's declare the main function on line 6. So far we have lines 1 through 9 filled out starting with all of our include statements and initializing our main function. Put your mouse cursor on line 5, press enter twice and move the cursor back to line 6. Between the main function and the header declarations, we're going to create a function prototype. This will be the function that will determine what key is hit and store the ASCII equivalent into a log file. We'll call this function save because that's basically the primary function of this. It's going to save the data. So we're going to declare this as an integer function, int save, and within here, we're going to int keystroke, comma, character pointer file. We'll get to this later. Now that we've declared the save function, let's make a skeleton for it below the main function. Put your cursor on line 12, make some separators for the code. For readability purposes, I'm going to make two of them on 12 and 13. On line 14, I'm going to do int save, and we could actually, if you want, copy this line here and paste it on line 14, get rid of the semicolon, there we go. All we have to do is return zero. So right now our program is 17 lines. At this point, we will save our CPP file, file, save as. We're going to go to the desktop. On your desktop, create a folder and call it keylog. Inside the keylog directory, save the file as basic keylog.cpp. Once the skeleton of the program is created, it's a good idea to compile it just to make sure there are no simple mistakes in the beginning. Simply press the F9 key to compile and execute the program. Actually, I take that back. Before we do that, go to line 10, and we're going to make a system call. And inside of this function, we're going to send it the parameter pause. This is going to add a press any key to continue at the end of our program so it doesn't just open up and close real fast. So I'm going to press F9 and the program compiles fine. Once the program compiles correctly, continue to the next video where we're going to fill out the main function.